The very birth of Kumtor became possible due to motor vehicles. Trucks were used to deliver building materials, equipment and foods along the winding roads up here, to an altitude of over 4,000 meters above sea level. Nowadays, the new generation of machinery enables the company to work efficiently and produce gold in a challenging natural environment. Kumtor is the domain of giant machines. Indeed, it's only this monster equipment skillfully handled by humans that is equal to the titanic work in an extreme environment. We shall begin our acquaintance with the Kumtor world of vehicles with ordinary Kamaz buses which bring company employees to their working places. Twice a day, at 5am and 5pm, the drivers race their Kamaz buses about what was once a flying field to warm them up and offer them to the workers leaving for their working places. The Kamaz buses are equipped so as to make employees feel quite comfortable and safe while traveling to or from their working places. It will be recalled that the safety rules forbid any worker to move about the territory of the mine on foot. By the way, both drivers and passengers traveling by Kamaz buses or any other vehicle at Kumtor are required to be fastened with seatbelts. This is one of the five golden rules effective at the mine site now. According to rule number two, anyone is obliged to follow all road signs. These signs indicate the direction of movement or possible dangers and limit the vehicle's maximum speed. Rule number three requires that any driver or operator of heavy-duty vehicles bear his license with him. Compliance with traffic rules at this mine site is closely controlled by the Comtor Security Service. Ibek Shamorbekov is an operator of the heavy-duty truck, CAT 777B. It is the smallest of all trucks employed at Comtor, although small is a mystery. Namina. It can carry loads up to 80 tons plus tons of its own weight. To become an operator, IBEC underwent a special training program. Operating a CAT 777B, as any other vehicle employed at Comtor, requires not only driving skills but also a strong knack of modern computer and even satellite technologies. It should be mentioned that operating a CAD 777B makes the first stage of a heavy-duty vehicle operator's career at the mine site. After several months of work, Ibeck will be given a more powerful truck. At some time later, when he has gained relevant skills and knowledge, he will be allowed to operate a grader, a dozer, and finally an excavator. The whole training process may include five to six years. Meanwhile, Ibeck needs to work carefully, without violating traffic or safety rules. Расстояние между, между грузовиками, например, если мы стоим в ожидании, mm -hmm. расстояние больших грузовиков... A distance between the heavy-duty trucks should be at least 11 meters when they stand in line and 33 meters when they are in motion. This means we may not come closer. There are also special rules. For example, at crossroads, where there are no road signs, we have to follow special rules. We must make way for a loaded truck, for one. Operating skills must become automatic. This concerns both IBEC and other operators. This is a guarantee that these giant vehicles will operate without accidents or brakes. CAT 785C is the next one in a series of heavy-duty trucks employed at Comtor. It can take a one-time load of 130 to 140 tons. These monsters are 5 meters high and 11 meters long. Their own weight is 250 tons. But they are in no way the biggest of all those trucks that operate here day and night. In 2010, Comtor's fleet of heavy-duty trucks was reinforced by a new model, CAT 789C. It is the largest truck that has ever been utilized by miners in Kyrgyzstan. According to the papers, its carrying capacity is 177 tons. It's over 6 meters high, 12 meters long, and its own weight is 317.5 tons. Between 2010 and 2011, the company purchased 36 CAT 789C trucks. Every such monster, adapted to operation in an altitude environment, costs almost 3 million US dollars, including delivery from the US to Kyrgyzstan. The, the requirements of the machines uh, to work operate at Kumtor is a, they need to be able to operate at altitude is of paramount importance and also our climatic conditions require the fleet to be able to operate in sub or minus 40 degree temperatures so that places a particular challenge on the on the machinery and the equipment and also for our facilities to be able to support that fleet 
uh, in, in, our, uh, in our particular conditions. Maintenance of all vehicles is in charge of two repair shops, which employ about 500 people. With the objective of meeting our reliability targets and maintaining our cost profile across those assets. Our aim and objective is to deliver that reliability and quality of work in a, in a safe manner to ensure the safety of our employees. Within each of the facilities, we operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week to, to, to deliver the service requirements to the Kumtor fleet. We are providing three kinds of maintenance. First, overhaul. Second, assemblage. Third, minor repairs. Planned servicing is provided for all heavy-duty vehicles in turn. The lower repair shop does not only deal with maintenance, but also the assemblage of this giant equipment. The fact is that this equipment is brought to the mine site knocked down. First by sea, next by rail to the city of Balakchi, and then to the mine site by MACK trucks. The load is distributed like this. The first truck carries the frame in the engine, only the frame in the engine. Well between 138 and 140 tons. The next truck carries the front suspension. The body is divided into three parts, which are welded together at the mine site. As for the wheels, the six of them, they are brought here by one truck. Assemblage is done by the national employees alone, who consult from time to time the several expats in our department. We have mastered the assemblage process quite well, as we have been working here for 12 years. The upper shop also provides repair, but unlike the lower one, it deals with heavy-duty trucks. It was even built so as to be able to accommodate the greatest of all our CATs. Emil, what's the most common cause of brakes? Perhaps continued operation 24 hours a day. That's the prime cause, I guess. Doesn't operation depend on altitude, weather, or some other specific conditions? It does, a bit. Where do you get spare parts? Do you purchase them or manufacture them yourselves? We have supplies of spare parts. We order them in advance and they bring them to our garage. Do you have any machine tools to fit your needs? Yes, we manufacture hydraulic hoses ourselves for any kind of caterpillar equipment. Besides, we also have Lieber shovels. What are the most common problems you face when doing repairs? Of course, there are problems as in any other job. The main problem is that the equipment we deal with is so big. All spare parts are very heavy and this is dangerous. How heavy may one wheel of a truck like the cap be? About 500 kilos, more or less. And these dozer buckets? The weight of the smallest spare part may be around 100 kilos, while the biggest parts may be as heavy as 2 or 3 tons. The fifth golden rule of Comtor forbids operating vehicles with defective steering or braking systems. The operator is not allowed to do even minor repairs in his own. Therefore, the mine's daily operation requires that maintenance provided by auto repair shops be of high quality. Everything must be done quickly and efficiently, especially if you do repairs to a shovel, loader or truck on the spot. Mechanics have to do a lot of work here. The mine fleet at Comtor is really great. In addition to administrative vehicles, it also has approximately 160 units of mine equipment, including 9 Liebherr and 6 Cat shovels, 16 tractor-mounted dozers and 4 rubber-tired dozers. 
11 graders and 84 heavy duty trucks. Moreover, according to the modernization plans, the mine fleet will be expanded. The dispatcher office is what ensures the continued and efficient operation of the equipment at the mine site. It is here that decisions are made as to where precisely each of the vehicles should be employed. Management of the fairly heavy flow of vehicles can be efficiently exercised by means of advanced technologies. There are special monitors installed throughout the length of the routes and also on each of the vehicles that send a signal to the satellite via GSP. This system allows dispatchers to determine within seconds where each of the dozers or shovels is employed at the precise moment она даже не в том направлении куда-то поедет, мы можем это сразу... Any vehicle can be warned if it goes in the wrong direction. We can get in touch with the driver by radio, or he himself may see by his own monitor that he is traveling in the wrong direction. If he doesn't notice the monitor data, we send him a warning signal. Also, he can be warned whenever he is assigned a different mission. This is done via our system. Smart equipment controlled by quality specialists operates so efficiently that all loading or transportation never stops for a moment. Compliance with safety rules is also a factor contributing to continued operation. All this makes Kumta one of the safest mines in the world.